In One Piece, Monkey D. Dragon, who is the leader of the Revolutionary Army and the father of Monkey D. Luffy still has many mysteries yet to be revealed to us. Have you ever thought why Dragon has not asked his own son to join the Revolutionary Army? Have you ever thought about the Dragon's real intention of arriving in Logatown? His unexpected arrival was quite surprising. He has saved Luffy from Smoker and when he was about to be executed by Buggy. So, what's the real purpose of him coming there? It's highly likely that he wanted to see his son, Luffy and make him a member of the Revolutionary Army. The Logatown arc became one of the most significant arcs before One Piece entered the time skip. Zoro obtaining his swords, Dragon's appearance, Luffy encountering Smoker, Zoro encountering Tashigi, the girl who has a striking resemblance with Kuina, his childhood friend. Logatown was even the place where Luffy got his first fan, Bartolomeo. The town is also the place for the execution of the Pirate King, Gold D. Roger. Then why didn't Dragon meet Luffy before? Though the Revolutionary Army should have got numerous information from their exceptional intelligence, including the news about Luffy who just defeated Arlong and got a bounty of 30 million berries. It's probably because Dragon knows that there's something about Luffy that got in the way from him asking his son to join the Revolutionary Army. When he's about to be executed by Buggy, with a big smile on his face, Luffy calmly said, Sorry guys, looks like I'm going to die. This is one of the coolest moments in One Piece cause what Luffy says is similar to what Roger did at his execution. It was the very moment that turned Bartolomeo into a big fan of Luffy, and that smile also made Smoker change his minds and realize that Luffy's no ordinary pirate. Apparently, Smoker noticed that Luffy's big smile upon his demise was similar to Roger's at his execution. Aside from the bystanders, Dragon also witnessed the moment before Luffy's about to be executed. Luffy was lucky enough to be saved by Dragon. But not only that, but Dragon was also lucky to be able to see the potential, determination, and Luffy's dream in just one moment. Dragon also saw Roger's smile that Luffy recreated, which made him believe that his son has the potential to become the Pirate King in the future. Roger once said, Inherited will, the destiny of the age, and the dreams of its people will never die. As long as people continue to pursue the meaning of freedom, these things will never cease. Given Roger's words, Dragon became more convinced that Luffy is the man who has the potential to be the next Pirate King. That was a theory on why Dragon has no intention of asking his son, Luffy, to join the Revolutionary Army. If you find this discussion exciting, share it with your pals. Ah,